doubling up the baffle. I'm going to double it up, then I'm going to route it out for the speaker, and then I'll rabbit it out for the front spacing for the speaker. It's doubled up. Almost done. So, little explanation.
that goes to the outside port. Same thing on the other side. Building, I'll build two of these and out of three quarter and then fancy them up with a taper. But this is made to hold it. And keep it nice and snug. I'll do it like that. And then this one will be shorter. But one of them will be shorter. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. One of them won't even make it to the staff that side. But that'll be okay. So, here she is. And these, I'll taper these once I get the top on. It's too thin. But. So, I like to make cool shit and fuck up. So, here we go. Changeable ports, one this side, one that side. This will be routed out once I have the top on. That's what the ported side will look like. This will be on the other side, filling it. But, this does not cut the length. And, there's no way of getting it out. So, there's no way of getting it out. Fucking <laughs> stupid ass. So, my idea, fuck, I hate doing this shit. Um, is take this whole deal and put it up on the router table route that out yeah here's the outer flange this is the outer wall this and I can run the the flush trim to make it like that then this can easily just be slid all the way out without the flange on it I don't want to do that because you got one shot at two things. I mean, both sides. Well, I could just do one side. I only need this one to do it. But you only have one shot at it. If this thing tilts or anything, I've ruined the side of the box. I'm trying to think about what to do otherwise. My other action could be. Uh, cutting this piece so I can pull it out and then put a, a coupler on it but that sucks because that's more space out of the box in all actuality doing that on the side is probably my best option
That worked. I was able to route this out wider so it fits these four and a half inch PVCs. Four and a half inch outside, four inch inside. And now I could slide them in and out no matter how long they are. This side is going to come to right here. This side will be 15 inches. So let's stop here. I'll make a little cradle. So it doesn't bounce around or anything. Um, right now I'm gonna go get some silicone and you know seal up all the edges. Just make sure we have no air leaks. And I think I'm gonna try to see if uh, I can buy a little sled for my table saw. I know they've got some some cool little sleds. Yeah, so I could cut this accurately as much as possible. I'll, like put a block and all that if not i'll build a sled which i fucking hate doing but i could do that too then i really want to wrap this thing with vinyl a little bit of carpet on top i haven't done vinyl forever so we'll see i know i can do it it's just how good can i do it The 20 inch side which would be the lower lower base side so this side start off we're going to have it blank and then this side which will be this one 
It'll, I'm going to cut it to 15 inches. And this one, I'll have a cradle right here, I think. I'm going to grab that little piece I got over there and copy a piece to be a cradle for this short one. This one doesn't need anything. It's solid. Top's on. <laughs> 